Okay, here's a rational equation of sorts. Before we get into solving this, let's talk about what x cannot equal. So x for sure cannot equal 18 because we only have one denominator in each of these and the denominator is x minus 18. So if x equals 18, that's not a solution. All right, so let's see. We want to clear the fractions by multiplying everything by x minus 18. We can distribute across the board. So this is going to eliminate this right here, leaving us with x. And this eliminates again, leaving us with equals 18 plus x minus 18 times 18. x minus 18 times 18. And then we can distribute that. So we've got x equal 18 plus and then x times 18 is 18x. And what is negative 18 times 8? Uh, 324. There it is. So negative 324. OK, so we have a linear equation that has resulted. And let's go ahead and solve for x. All right, I move this to the other side. That's good. This cancels. Negative 17x equals, what's 18 minus 324? That looks like it's negative 306. Divide both sides by negative 17. And we get x equals, uh, quick calculation, 18. But wait, what did we say earlier? x cannot equal 18. We said x could not equal 18. All right, exclamation. All right, x cannot be equal to 18. All right, because then it would make the denominator 0, and then we'd end up dividing by 0. Okay, so what we know is that 18 is not in the domain of the function or of the equation here not in the domain. So therefore, we say then that the result is that there is no solution. And sometimes in math, we say no solution, and we mean this, they might call it null, all right? Or they may call it the empty set. So this is another choice. There's no solution, but they might also uh, say the solution is the empty set. Okay, so that is a possibility. So this means null, but it also means the solution is the empty set. So there is the answer. There is no answer uh, to this rational equation.